Welcome back. The Isley Brothers are coming back to Texas. Tickets are on sale now for their show with Mays featuring Frankie Beverly on January 13th at the HB Center in the capital city. Earlier, I got a chance to speak with them about the show and their decades in the business. Take a listen. I am absolutely delighted to be joined by legendary R&B group, the Isley Brothers. I'm talking about Ronald and Ernie Isley, who've been in the game since the 1950s. It's so great to have both of you on Spectrum News 1 Texas. Oh, wow. That's Good to be here. Absolutely. So, Ronald, I want to begin with you. I read that your inspiration for trying various music genres is your parents. Tell us more about that. Well, our parents wanted us to do gospel, country and western, popular music, and just everything, R&B, everything. And we wanted to learn that so we would be able to uh, use that in our career all, all through the career. And uh, they wanted us to be a group that uh, lasted long it's the uh, mules brothers yes i think uh, we achieved that and then some and then some and uh, ernie what's so amazing is that you have spanned so many decades you have covered so many genres of music and it's like you continue to reinvent yourself while staying true to your classics your new album features rappers and various hip-hop artists Talk to us about why it's important to continue to work with new generations of musicians. Well, the uh, the climate, the musical climate and the musical terrain never stays the same. It changes. And uh, whenever it has changed, uh, we've been able to change with it, uh, even to the point sometimes of being out in front of uh, some of the changes. Um, you know, like the, the MTV hip hop rap, folks have leaned on our catalog uh, real heavy. And uh, so we're no stranger to them and vice versa. That's wonderful. I know they enjoy sampling your music because everyone loves it. And then I know they enjoy contributing to your new music like Beyonce. I know there's a story behind you having Beyonce on your latest song, which is number one on the adult R&B charts. Oh yeah. We uh, talked about doing a record together uh, when she was with the uh, Disney Child. And uh, her mother is, a, uh, is our biggest fan. She loves, the, uh, her favorite record is For the Love of You and this record, uh, Make Me Say It Again, Girl. And so I called her mother when we were in California and said, I think, we wanted to do a, do the, do a record with Beyonce, and she called back five minutes and said, "Wow, she 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 wanted to do it, do it, this record." So the record she picked out of those two was, was "Make Me Say It Again, Girl." So we did that. They they, they had recorded that record before uh, as Destiny's Child, but. Uh, it's just a lot different when you hear it with us. <laughs> no doubt about that. It's amazing. I listen to it and I absolutely love it. And I love the fact that you're still touring. What an inspiration. You are coming to Texas in January. One stop so far in Austin, Texas. Talk to us about what folks can expect at that concert. He can expect us to try to do everything that we know <laughs> until they put us off the stage. <laughs> no, we have a special show we had planned for for that uh, that evening. Uh, I, I'm sure it'll go all right. You have fans of all ages. My goodness, absolutely all ages. I saw the video with Baby Deuce, Ronald. You allowed him <laughs> on that stage. He's singing his heart out with you. Then you take him backstage. What a lasting impression you made on Baby Deuce. Oh, man, he wants to come out again. He <laughs> called, called, called my wife and said, uh, when can I come on the stage again? <laughs> He's been bitten by the bug, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now listen, 
We have to wrap up this interview, but I have been a fan since birth, I'm sure, right? So I cannot let you go without getting a little something for the folks who may not be able to make it to the concert. Is there anything that you can gift us with in this interview? You're contagious, touch me baby, give me what you got. <laughs> Yes, yes. Woo! That's enough for me. I'm good. Thank you so much. I cannot wait for you to come to Texas. We look forward to it. Thank you for your time. Thank you for everything you've done for the music industry through the years. Continued success, the Isaac Thank you. Thank, Thank you. so much. Interview and so appreciate you joining us for this hour of Spectrum News One.